This is a 50th anniversary Leprechaun by Coachman. We need to do something special about that. Hi, this is Frank Biggs with B Young RV. Is that special enough? This happens to be a 2014 Leprechaun 2SC from Coachman. And uh, there are some special features on here. Again, this is a 50th anniversary model. So there's some packages that are put into this. We do have sideboard cameras, as you can see here. There's one on each side on the Leprechaun. This is on the Ford chassis with 14,500 pound gross plus your tow capacity. And the Ford builds a bigger chassis for these bigger units. And the 280DS stands for two slides, so it's a double slide Class C. Of course, this is in the caramel style coloring. We do have an electric awning. This is Dometic, which you can set um, if it's raining and make the water run off one side without the awning bellering. Of course, down here we'll have the propane tank, easy access. Another cargo box. We've got a lot of cargo hold on this unit. Radius cut door, the new lock system. I love this, it's more secure than the old ones. Uh, handle to get in and out. You'll notice there's no electric step on here. Uh, we can add one if you need it be, but less issues with people uh, breaking the steps off when they forget. Back of the reefer access, the furnace. You'll notice here we have right air airbags on here, so if you're loading it up heavy in the back, because we have a large cargo carrying capacity, we can level the coach out. This does have an outside entertainment center. We'll have a nice TV in here, name brand, a CD player, speakers, and then if you want to hook up a, a video out here, you can definitely do that. Lockable case, of course outside plugs, back of the uh, uh, hot water heater access. So you'll notice a little water here, that's because we winterized this unit. Now, what you do have on this, on the 28DS, is we're gonna have a uh, slide out kitchen. Okay, flip up table. Notice you have this, you got a sink in here, and I failed to bring out the little portable Coleman cooktop, but you do have that. So we now we have an outside underneath the big awning. This awning is full length of the body, as you'll notice up here, with the center support. Um, so we can be out here cooking and not get wet if it's pouring down rain at the Oregon coast, or whatever coast you're on. Just fold her back up, fold the faucet down, lift up this little knob up here, shove this back in, lock it in place, and we're set. Like I say, there's a nice little cooktop that comes with this, a Coleman, you'll use individual bottles. Lock it back up, ready to go. And then we come back here to the cargo hold. You're gonna love this. Told you we got an outside kitchen. We got our little refrigerator in here. With a freezer so you can put some ice cubes in there. I mean, that's a heck of an ice cube tray, don't you think? Nice. Guess I'll have to bring some extras from home. And then you have a, a compartment down here. Uh, and on the back side, there'll be another access door that'll have pass through so you can put lawn chairs and stuff. Now you can see why they brought this one back into play uh, with Coachman, the 28DS. Of course, all vacuum bonded walls, Asdell material siding, which lightens the, co the coach because we don't have a wood backer, less apt to having uh, delamination. Exclusive for Forest River. And w in saying that, we have approximately 2,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity on this coach of this size. We have a ladder, walk on roof. See, I told you it was a walk on roof. LED lights, that includes the running lights up above, and you'll notice there's one up above the backup camera up there. Uh, 5,000 pound hitch with a bargeman plug, so you can tow a dinghy car behind you. And I told you there was another access, you'll see uh, storage under here, it is compartmentized down in here. You like this color here, you know, it really makes it look luxurious. Of course, you'll have a black flush, water city hookup, outside shower, gas fill, sewer systems underneath here. Um, you know, makes a little easy access with a little door. Electrical 30 amp service because we have a single AC on top. And then we talk about the slide outs. Again, they're vacuum bonded, they're solid. Vacuum bonding is a more expensive process than some of the other uh, manufacturers use. And with the Aztel, you're looking at number one. The, the Freelander, which is a level below this, is a number one 
selling Class E all in North America. Of course, we're going to because we have the these slides and they're taller than most. We're going to use the Swintex uh, slide mechanisms made by Lipiter LCI. Uh, very positive. Been around. Um, a lot of manufacturers use that product. Uh, of course, you've got slide toppers on top. That's standard equipment. And again, Leprechaun 50th anniversary. You get some bargains on here. All right. Again, we're on the E450 chassis, and only on the Ford chassis on certain models we can put swivel chairs in the front. We've not had that before and Coachman's been the leader to do this and um, I do have it partially turned over here. I can go clear around so I have extra seats or you know it's high enough off the ground I could relax here uh, facing out there into the the unit. So when I'm going to close it up I just turn it and pull it this way and it locks in place. Look at these beautiful leather seats too in here. We do have an Onan 4000 generator which is underneath here. You'll see the exhaust is coming up here clear by the driver area. Um, so when we're sleeping in the back and that walk around bed that we have in here, full queen mattress by the way, 60 by 80, I don't have exhaust or noise going to the back side back there. So it's going to be a lot quieter for you. Uh, this particular unit does have the Michelin uh, LTX MS2s, which I did put on my motorhome uh, recently. They're designed to have longer wear. If I remember right, they're rated for like 60 to 70,000 miles. So uh, that's a lot of miles on a Class C, but uh, Michelin came out with a new tire in uh, 2014 for the uh, motorhome business. Let's go inside. Down in this corner down here when I walked in, you'll find your power disconnect, your lights, your electric awning, fuse panel, and there's a heat duct here. Um, before we start on the inside, I want to tell you about this harness down here. Uh, you know, I almost think it came about because of me. I borrowed a, uh, a Freelander, and I have my granddaughter. She's in a car seat. Well, I wedged it and tightened it up and everything. If I had had this harness here that is now an exclusive of Coachman, I wouldn't have to do what I had to do. So we could put a child's car seat in here and strap it down. So grandpa and grandma or mom and dad when they buy this could do this. Well, I think we'll start with uh, this area here and hit the bedroom first. Got a nice closet right here. And these are uh, screwed and glued cabinets, by the way. They're not bought by from big box store and put together. It's actually put together at uh, Coachman. Uh, red box area up here above the refrigerator. You'll notice the refrigerator is low enough that um, well, we got all the stuff in here and books and the curtains and stuff, um, but it's low enough for somebody to access. This unit just came in. Got a nice pocket door system here. I can shut this off. Nice, instead of a curtain, and it's lockable. Uh, we'll have an outside sink in the 28DS right here with a nice big vanity mirror. Nice drawers, you'll notice the roller bearing guides. Nice stainless steel faucet here, one control instead of double valves, light switches here, towel rack. Moving into the bedroom, we have a pocket door to separate from the, the bathroom and everything. Uh, we do have nightstands next to the full queen size mattress. This is hydrofoil countertop up here, process that uh, seals it well. Rolling bearing, look how long that drawer is there. So we could set up if we had to. Uh, other equipment for your glasses, your water. There's a heat duct down below me. Got nice big cabinets up above here. Look how deep those are. Nice light above the bed. Now I want to talk about this. You know, Coachman's made a, a deal with Serta. And when you look at this, you'll see you have a beautiful Serta mattress pillow top. Not some cheap piece of foam that costs $25 to put in here. And um, so uh, in 2014, we're finding that we have Serta mattresses in our Coachman product line of motorhomes. And when you move down here, you'll see it's rounded and make it easier to get in. And like again, you know, this is a 60 by 80 mattress. We got some nice uh, places, extra room here to put stuff down below here. You do have a closet with mirrors in here and a place for shoes or whatever you want or separate out the underwear. And there's an extra window over in the corner here and a nice big back window. And up on the ceiling, we'll have uh, the even cool ducting system, which is exclusive of Coachman to make the air conditioning flow better in the coach, more even and not get disrupted by uh, rough corners. You also have a high speed 
uh, fan up above here that you can set for the temperature and make it come on and off. It's a three-speed 12-bladed fan. This is a great bedroom in here. Your wardrobe is what slides out on this particular unit. We've got a beautiful bathroom in here with a nice china bowl toilet, an ample side shower with uh, sliding doors, and uh, stainless steel fixtures, and there is uh, a nice cabinet in here to put towels and face cloth and a fan in here. Of course, you have your central control panel right here. Uh, it's easy access for you, nice and low. We do have a two-way hot water heater, get both gas and electric. We do have tank heaters on here, so if you're traveling in cold weather, we can ensure that our fresh water, gray and black, aren't going to freeze. Your slide-out controls here, your generator, your hours on your generator, and then, of course, your gray, black, LP, and battery. And centrally located is going to be the air conditioning and heat control here for the furnace, cool, and fan. That's going to make it a lot easier because the air, it's centrally located in the uh, Coachman RV. Let's move into the kitchen. Solid surface countertop, nice extension to add to the kitchen. Nice big sink on one side and deep on that side. Um, we do have a pull-out faucet, single control instead of double handles, a big upgrade um, on those doing that. We do have an oven, three burner cooktop with a spark arrestor there, a 12 volt fan and uh, light here, which I like. Um, and on this one, we do have a convection microwave. Uh, which is a real added bonus for here. If you ever did biscuits like they're on the picture here, uh, if you put them in the conventional oven, it takes 28 minutes, 14 minutes to do it, and you better watch it. Uh, nice cabinets up here, again, screwed and glued. Nice shelf here for spices or whatever. So I believe that you have a nice kitchen here. Uh, and the leprechaun, we do have the etched glass up here. You'll notice, again, deep cabinets. A nice... Uh, this feels like ultra leather here. Uh, it's really nicely accented. You have some storage underneath here. Looks like we have three seat belts on this. So you can make that into a small sleeper if you had some kids. Nice big window here. And uh, we're gonna have a nightshade. Uh, we're going down to a single shade because the glass is so dark in here that under normal condition you can't see. So if you gotta put it down, Great. Then those in Oregon, what's nice about these type of windows is that you can slide open. Go to wildlife. You can see how dark it is when you pull it over. But let's say I had to go to wildlife safari with the grandkids. You can take pictures out here. This is what's great about these. And lots of ventilation. I love these windows. We move over to the uh, dinette area. Uh, we do have the uh, dream dinette in here. So when I want to, uh, if I want to make it into a bed, I just pull these cushions, I can push this right down. Now you asked about those cushions. You know what's really nice about those? I'm sitting here and I'm by myself. I just want to go like that. It's nice and comfortable. It's one of the things that Coachman does. Now you're probably wondering where the TV is. Where's the magic TV? Normally it's up there. Whoa, DVD player's here. Oh, look at this. Look at that baby. Go figure, huh? I can sit right here and watch TV. And being as a, a very good TV, LED, somebody that's sleeping up here in this eight foot airy bunk area could watch TV from here. But let's say you had to put it back up. It's out of the way, right? But check this out. Okay, I'm standing, I'm having to cook over here by myself. I can watch it here instead of bugging everybody down here. I love it. All right, DVD player again. Of course, up here we have no interference with the TV. This does have the safety harness system, which I've showed before, and this is flipped over. We can connect up here, so if you have grandkids or, or you have children that are small and that, you can block them. So, or if you just want to use it for cargo, you can keep stuff up above there. You drop this over here, you can stuff it, and you don't have to worry about it falling on you. We have another high-speed fan up here. It's a uh, uh, temperature-controlled, uh, three-speed, 12-bladed fan. So. Uh, it is a fantastic fan through the coach. Well-known name brand. And we talk about the cab up here. Again, we have the Jensen uh, radio in here. That is your backup camera. And you remember, you have sideboard camera. So when we turn turn signal on, uh, you can see who's on your side. It'll come up on the camera. Nice cup holders on the Ford. Um, Ford is a tough built coach. And we have the leather seats. Again, they do turn, which I demonstrated earlier. And when you look at this, it's the, the pedestal is built by Atwood. 
one of the leaders in the RV industry. I'm gonna relax over here in this boot dinette that has a hydrofoil top. I don't have to worry about it going bad on me. Again, this is Frank Biggs with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, the greater Portland Metro in Oregon on the Pacific Northwest. And I invite you to come to B. Young RV anytime you wish. We're open seven days a week, except for on holidays. We have motorhomes, we have trailers, we've got big fifth wheels, we've got new and used. And right now, this lot is extremely loaded. So as we say here at B. Young RV, come shopping today and you might be camping tomorrow. Thank you for visiting us.